because I think as tradespeople, we get let down by our customers more often than absolutely just your nature yeah. it goes on it doesn't doesn't stop and, and it'll carry on it'll keep perpetuating uh for as ever as the, the the day is long but what for me is that we rule out all the tire kickers now so we charge for a quote okay and that's interesting actually because i've heard this discussed a lot and i have never charged for a quote but my wife keeps telling me i should because she knows how much time i put into well, it. there you are so your wife's your wife's right so i i spoke about this years ago and people said that i was mad and i was ridiculous i was greedy but the, the thing is i met a guy in um it was, it was, i think it was b and q and i said to him uh, he said hi john how's it going i said oh good good and he said uh i said are you busy as you always say like you know the conversation goes he said yeah he said it's, it's, it's all going good he said i priced 12 jobs last week and i went oh okay i said how many did you get he said one so you imagine it, he's seen 12 jobs and just imagine it's say it's an half an hour out an hour with a customer half hour back that's two hours right if he charged five pound an hour that's 10 pound 12 jobs he went seen to right and this i'm just saying this at this figure you do the maths we you know we charge a lot more than that i think you you got to as a standard it should be at least 50 pound 60 pound as a standard yeah, because I think the issue I have is, I'm you know I live in a small town. There's perhaps a dozen good landscapes in the area. Don't get me wrong, I back myself and I think I can do a better job than them. Mm. But the customer doesn't know that until you start doing the work anyway. So if I would say, for me to come and give you a quote, it's going to be sixty pounds. I think they will just say, "Don't worry about it. We'll get someone else." To come no, if they're quote. serious, they'll 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 have it done. What's sixty pound, right? You know, the thing is, what you got to remember is that you the message that you need to get out there is that you're a professional. You're going to deliver, right? They got to see you as an investment. That money is investment because you could turn up and say to them, say for example, "Oh, don't buy your slabs there," because they could say, "Well, we're getting our slabs from here," and say, "Well, actually, I can get you through me. I can get you a discount." The same thing, for yeah, forty percent less. Yeah, and yeah. they go. Oh my god, that we've made, we saved just four hundred pounds. Well, yeah, that's why I'm worth my fee. That's why you've got to trust me, put that's, your faith in me, so and let me do the work. Yeah. That's the social media stuff you should be getting out. Yeah, it, exactly that, and it's it's a big thing because again, it's why I all started it originally. Anyway, it's to show the customers exactly what they're paying for. Yeah, Sto you know? Tom, it's it's about storytelling. It's about telling stories. Hey, it's me, it's Johnny Boy. Today, I'm going to tell you why you should be paying me three hundred pounds to come and see you. I'm not saying three hundred pounds, but do you see my my point? Yeah. That's that's the value. I'm going to show you in the value when we charge for our fee. Let me explain to you how it works. We go and see a customer. We see our customer. We, we they listen. We listen to the client brief. They tell us, for example, that they're getting their paving here, and we say, no, don't get your paving there. That's a poor quality product. Yeah. Da 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 da. Already, they've made a saving. And I almost always have trouble when customers are stubborn enough. They do want to get their own materials. I found a particular slab I really like. Mm. We want to buy it ourselves. Ultimately, if that's what they want to do, that's fine. Exactly. But they're the only ones you ever have trouble with, aren't they? Because they're always the ones that have got an inconsistent product. You know, the sandstone, some of them might be 30 mil thick. Some of them might be 5 mil thick. You've got uncalibrated corners where they're not right angles and you're trying to fit a pattern together that barely works because the slabs are so inconsistent. And Do you know, Tom, I remember going back we had a golden color voxel vector i can remember it and it was on a saturday i went out and i priced 10 jobs i got two speeding ticket and a parking ticket <laughs> right and got one job what a disaster just, of a just day wasn't worth it was it yeah exactly i think we gotta we gotta flip things on on our head Fish Radio.